What up, what up? Winboys here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how you can do live keying and compositing all in real time with Unreal Engine using Composite Brush. So if you look at my setup right now, I just have the Blackmagic Pocket 4K Cinema. I have everything running in Unreal and I'm moving around in my scene that I have built in Unreal Engine. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so to get started, I have my scene here opened up in Unreal. Basically, this is a free kit bash scene that I got out of the um, Unreal Marketplace. And so I didn't build anything here. I just grabbed the scene for example purposes. But if I come up to settings, come down to plugins, and if you haven't installed, you'll see it right here in our plugin window. It's called Composite Brush, and you wanna enable this, of course. So I hit enable, hit yes, and then restart now. And all it's gonna do is restart our scene for us. So I'm gonna save everything here, wait for this to save out, and then we'll jump right into it. Okay, so Unreal restarted. You can see that we have our composite brush enabled. So now we can get going. So like I said, I have this sci-fi kit bash scene. I'm gonna go up to the content here and I'm gonna start placing all my items in here to get everything started. So if I right click here in my content browser, come over to media and then select media player, I'm gonna make sure I have this selected right here. It says video output media textures asset. Make sure we click that and click okay. And then for this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave auto naming conventions at default so there's no confusion or anything. So I'm just gonna leave this at new media player and then it automatically opens up our media texture right here. So let me double click on this little TV icon. And over here, right where the folder's at, I'm gonna click on this come down to video and then come down to cam link 4k and so basically what this is is i'm using the elgato um, cam link 4k to go from my black magic cinema pocket 4k camera and so that's how i'm able to link all this in you can use a webcam if you want or you know any type of setup that you have as long as you have your camera piping through to your computer you should be good so i'm gonna click on save here and i'm gonna make sure not to exit out of this window i need this window open for this to work so I'm just gonna click the minus key for this to go down here. And you can see right here in this window texture here, the media texture, you can still see that I'm playing live and everything in here. And so our next step is, we wanna have to go up to this window called Composure um, Compositing. And if you don't have that window over there, just come over here to window in the upper left-hand corner, come down here and under viewports, you'll see Composure Compositing. So make sure you just click that on and then you'll have the window that we need to get going. So if I come back over here to Composure Compositing, right click in here and click Create New Comp. And then under here, we wanna click on All Classes, click the down arrow key, and then about the fourth one down, I would say Composite Brush Compositing Element. We wanna select that one and click Select. And now you see in our Details panel, we have this window opened up in here. And before we do anything else, I wanna go back to my Compositing window here where it says 0010 underscore comp. You can name that what you want, but again, I'm just gonna leave it at default. But if I right click on it, click on add element, add layer element, and then we wanna add a CG layer. And now if I click underneath, you'll see we have this CG underscore element one child underneath there. And this is what our scene is gonna look like. So this is what the camera view is. So if you wanted to move your camera around and whatnot, to kind of pick up the shot, but I'm just gonna leave it at default for now. So I'm gonna click back on my 01 or 0010 comp. You see that it says empty, and this is where we can start piping in our green screen footage. So if I come over here to my details panel, if I scroll down under composure, click on input, and then I believe I wanna click on the plus sign here. And now you see we have a folder here that says media texture input. If I scroll this down, you'll see we have a red box here where we can actually drag my green screen footage into this window. And now you see me down here in the lower right hand corner. And so now we can start to get this thing keyed out. If I scroll back up, I believe I go over here to composite brush asset. And then again, I'm gonna leave it in my content. I'm just gonna leave everything at default, click save. Now, if I double click over here on my purple box, you should see this window pop up here. So over here under source texture, I wanna come and click on none. 
And if you don't see this, like usually it should pop up at the top, but if you don't see it at the top, all you have to do is go in the search bar here, type in new media player or whatever you named it, and it should pop up there. So I want to select this. And now I have myself in here, and this is where you can start pulling out our key. So over here under layers, I want to click the plus sign, oh, excuse me, the plus sign, and then scroll this down. And you can see that our transfer color is red. So you can change this to whatever you want. But basically this is, if I start clicking on my green screen, it's going to start turning it red. And the red stands for the alpha channel. But you can make it represent whatever you want. So all I'm doing is left clicking on here until everything is red. And if you see anything pull through on your, your talent or whatever you're trying to key out, you just hold down the alt key and left click. And you can see it's starting to fill my body in a little bit. And so it looks like we have a pretty good key there. So if I come over to transfer mode, where it says HS or HSV color, come down to here where it says stencil alpha, you click that and it should turn gray there. So I wanna save this and make sure I have this saved as well. So everything here is saved. And again, I don't wanna exit this out. I just wanna close this like this. And you can see that we have me down here and it has a key, but it doesn't have the background keyed in here. And so what I want to do now is come over here where it says compositing pass, where it says background. I want to type in what it says right here to CG underscore element one. So CG underscore element one. And there you go. So now I'm keyed into my scene here and it looks pretty good. Let me click this here to maximize it so you guys can see me a little bit better. And if you look around my chin area, you can see around here is starting to pull through the background a little bit. So that's a real easy fix. Just double click back on your compositing brush, the purple box. Like I said, you hold down the alt key and you start clicking around the area that gave you problems. Click save. And there we go. So now it's all fixed out. And from here, we can start doing stuff like mat choke. So we have mat choke right here actually go maybe like negative two. There we go, clean up the edges a little bit. And then I can even blur it, maybe click like two. So you can see that the edge is blurred. If I go more extreme so you can really see it. So you can see exactly what it's doing there. Let me go back down to like one or two, something like that. And now I'm keyed, I'm live. I'm still running in real time. I'm just running from my Blackmagic camera here and everything's running in real time and the game engine back there, like we're, there's a whole bunch of different things we could do with this. Like if you have the um, the Vive Tracker hooked up to your camera, we can actually start moving this around so our background moves around our talent. I believe you could do the same thing with like the iPad or iPhone. I have to experiment with that a little bit more. Maybe that's another tutorial for doing like virtual production. But just to get you started with the live keyer, this is a great asset to have. So thanks again to the developers. I'm actually going to leave a link to his YouTube channel down below because he goes a little bit more in depth. Like if you want to, um, if you have a character that has glasses and you want to get the glare off, there's certain things you can do with that. And also you can change like your t-shirt color. So he goes really fully in depth on what this plugin can really do. So I'm going to leave a link down to that below. And thank you again. If you guys want to see more virtual production and stuff like this, make sure you leave me a comment down below. And as always, subscribe to the channel. Stay fresh. Keep creating, and I'll see you next time. Take care.